But if I mess up, I'll keep going. Right, tell me when, or just whenever. Hello, I am on Brookside Close, a famous part of Merseyside TV history, and we've come down today to see what it's like to live on such an iconic street. So this bit here did used to be gated off when it was owned by Channel 4, you couldn't just drive down and have a look at it. Obviously after running for 21 years and being incredibly successful, Brookside came to an end and now many of these houses are owned by a landlord who rents them out to people that live in what used to be the set for one of our most famous soaps. Um, so we've spent the morning on Brookside Close chatting to some of the residents. Um, unlike the actual residents of Brookside back in the day, not all of them wanted to be on camera. Um, so you might see some chats with some of them in this. Um, but we've had a little look around and asked people about what it's like to live on such an iconic street. So was living on Brookside with kind of it being so famous in Merseyside, was that a factor? Well, or? Not really, no. Um, but having said that, you wouldn't believe the interest that is still around. We got people coming, you know, all the time from all parts of the country who are still interested in Brookside. I mean, okay, I, I, I didn't watch it a lot, but there's still a great interest in it because take photographs of the sign down there. And, yeah, so it's amazing how, how, how people are still really interested in it, yeah. So behind me is a house that used to be used for a kind of office on the show. So they do um, costumes and some of the admin and things in there. Um, just over the street, there's houses that were used for props um, and for cameras and storage and costume and things like that. Um, and then if you have a look behind me, there are pr properties that are used on some of the more iconic scenes. So the body in the patio, probably the most famous bit of Brookside TV history, um, is this house just here. Um, there's people living inside there that, um, that had a chat to us earlier um, and they said that it's their back garden, which is where Trevor used to be buried underneath the patio. Um, nothing there, just to make clear. It speaks volumes for how much people really loved it and it's got a massive place in Merseyside history. Is it something that, I know you said you didn't watch it much, but are you quite proud to kind of live in a piece of history? Oh yes, yes, because um, you know, you can sometimes you can uh, have people, you know, I don't know, you might be doing it swapping your gas or electric or something and they say oh, where, what's your address and they say oh i've had people say oh is that where they filmed i said yeah and then one one girl said oh gosh i'm speaking to somebody who lives in brookside <laughs> um so everyone said that living on brookside is um it's quite an unusual place to get to call home a lot of people don't believe them when they tell them it's their address um, or when they're arranging to get the gas meter sorted, people can't believe that they're chatting to the residents of Brookside. Um, most people didn't move here because of it, obviously they just really like the houses, it's a lovely quiet street, um, but they said it's really friendly to live on and on the whole they don't mind having people stopping by and asking to take photos, which they do get a lot of. 